The back issue scoliosis can have serious problems for children if it is not treated correctly. We're joined by Dr. Mark Abel, Division Head of Pediatric Orthopedics at UVA Medical Center for our house call. I remember this being an issue even when I was growing up in school coming up as a little one. Um, exactly what is pediatric scoliosis and what are symptoms that we need to be looking out for? First, thank you for having me. Um, pediatric or childhood scoliosis can occur for a variety of reasons and basically what it means is a bend in the spine in the frontal plane. And what happens if this is untreated? Well, fortunately, the majority of children have no significant disabilities, but growth is the force that drives progression of these deformities, so it's very important to monitor children. I would say that one out of a thousand, the curves can get bad enough to require surgical management. Maybe 10 to 20 percent are braced, but the vast majority are just counseled, and we use various physical therapies for strengthening programs designed to enhance strength of the back and the core muscles of the trunk. And are there symptoms specifically that parents or family or even uh, school people, teachers and whatnot want to be looking for? Well, the most common variety of scoliosis is the adolescent onset scoliosis. And as the child approaches the, the growth spurt, occasionally the practitioner or the, um, the parent may notice that one shoulder is lower than another or the shoulder blade is more uh, prominent. And occasionally they have nagging back pain and that prompts the referral. Are there certain things that um, a kid won't be able to do, or is it, can it be a relatively normal life when it comes to athletics or playtime and, and whatnot? Well, uh, parents often wonder about um, the sports, and as I said before, rarely is there significant disability, and uh, exercise is so vitally important for growing children sure. that even if they have surgery or bracing, we work with the parents in the school to assure that an exercise program is part of the child's day. And I'm not even talking about sports on a competitive level or a varsity level, just in general, you want kids to be Participation active. in exercise, yeah. exactly right, Steve. All right, Dr. Mark Abel, appreciate your time this Thank evening. You Thank you very much.